hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm here today with a university room tour if you've got your results congratulations if you're off to uni now and you're probably wondering what do you bring and don't worry i got you because in first year i bought everything honey <laughs> so these will be the essentials Okay, let's get started with this section of the room, which is kind of like the back of the door. And so you can see I hung up my essential jumpers because I wear jumpers everywhere. And I have my scarf up because you know this weather cannot be trusted. And then I don't know why I have my gown there, but it's there. And then you can see where the radiator is. So in my room, I have one heater and that's where it is. And on the door handle is my exercise band. Then to the left, just for a bit of decor, I have a poster that Mahir gave me. Thank you, Bull. And it's a Great Minds poster that just has a lot of cool quotes. I have an ensuite room, so on my bathroom door, you can see this really space-friendly dryer, and I got that from Amazon, so I'll leave the link down below. Over here is the desk next to my bed and it has a power source so I have with me from home my stereo system and so if I'm hosting pre's you know it's gonna be lit <laughs> and I have my iPad and I just have all my electronics in this area and my phone and my purse and my Carmex so everything's in easy reach when I'm in bed. Talking of bed, linen is supplied by the college and two pillows, but I actually have a pillow from home and I use my own linen and I use the extra duvet whenever it's cold, but I bring my own stuff and I've got all of my linen from Primark, I believe. In my side drawers, I keep any medication or vitamins or anything that I need. And I also keep some like washing products and just like miscellaneous things in these small drawers. There's an extra drawer under the bed where I keep the linen I have and all my towels. And those are all from Primark and like Tesco. And under the actual bed itself, I keep my ring light, my tripod and my exercise mat. I like to fill up empty spaces. So on top of these drawers, I've got my plant, a bottle of Prosecco, my mood board, a fake flower that's from Primark and my folders. I also like to utilize space so here is a cheeky trick. Behind my mood board is my bag of electronics that has like my external hard drive and every single wire that I possibly need. So I keep any food that doesn't need to be in the kitchen or that's left over in these drawers and I also keep my camera equipment and a safe in here. I actually recommend getting a little safe. It just helps to keep things like your passport or any expensive jewelry or anything like that safe and kept away i have one at home as well and yeah basically it does what it says on the tin in this area i have another house plant and then these are all my products not even all of them because i have more in the bathroom and in a box somewhere but these are the ones that i mostly use and then i have more decor my cactus and some fake plants from primark and then i have my birthday cards which are just nice and cute and yeah it's just a nice touch to the room in this wardrobe i keep more shoes a box some suitcases some empty bags and all my coats or jackets and i also keep my clothes in here my socks my knickers and then i have this um small box from Rocco, which is really helpful because i keep my makeup in here and this is the first thing that people like marvel at when they come into my room but this is like majority of my makeup and i have another box just like this at home so i really recommend investing in one of these up here I keep my cute little notes from Olivia who's basically gotten me through Cambridge so far. There's a chair that the college provides and then I just have my ring light and my little slippers underneath. I have my washing basket which I bought from Wilco I believe and I have all my trainers and my boots and you know I like to be comfortable especially around campus ain't nobody got time for pain so these are the trainers that or the shoes that I mostly grab when I go out utilized space so behind my laptop i have my mirror my hand cream a cup i used to wash my piercings some cotton things that i need for various things my apple cider vinegar some dead flowers and my cards against humanity i like to keep games around my room to remind myself that i need to take a break and i'm actually really annoyed because i lost my monopoly so if anyone sees monopoly yeah can you return to me please so on my desk I have a good luck card from Olivia as well, my university bag where I keep all of my books from the library and it's a lot honey. <laughs> my desk probably has the most stuff in my room so I have my laptop as you can see as well and my external stuff and don't mind the dirt it's makeup but 
I'll explain in a different video. I also have my book stand, which I got from eBay and all my books. So of course you want to bring all your books with you to uni. And I've got my Bible, my glasses, and that stack of books there are like my diaries and my motivational books. And so you can never go wrong with having multiple planners and journals. And you can see my beats and then stationery, stationery all over the gaff all over the app darling and an external lamp i like to mostly put things up on my pin board at homerton we move out every single term and have to move back in every single term so it's not really a good idea for me to over decorate so i need simple things that i can decorate with so i have all these pictures and postcards that i just put up on the pin board i got some of them from like campus and then obviously some of them are from home you obviously want to make sure that you have the stuff to pin it up with so that goes into stationery as well but I like to pin up my timetables and sweet little motivational messages that I get from people so shout out to my college daughter Ale, I love you, thank you so much and I have up my timetable and other things that I've got from home that I just like to put up to motivate me course I'm an English student so I've got all of my lovely lovely books the ones up here I've either all bought them myself and buying books secondhand like on eBay or Amazon is a really good and cheaper alternative or my dad has bought them and as well I have some free books that like the library gives away sometimes so in the drawers next to my desk, in the top one, I literally just have like all these documents. So you want to bring with you stuff like your UCAS confirmation letter, the record of your grades, the record of your offer or anything like that, how much you get from student finance. So you just want to bring like all your important documents. Then I have my glasses, some paper and basically this is where I stack all of my stationery that is it for my college room tour thank you homerton for blessing me with such a peng room i'm so lucky to have had this room of course there's more things in my bathroom but i will leave a link down below to the list i created when i was first moving in that's got like an in detail breakdown of everything you might need to move to uni so you can have a look at that if you need to and also again because we move out every term i do keep everything to a minimum and lastly can we just appreciate the peng peng view that homerton gave me by me having this room this year and so this college is just everything and beyond thank you guys for watching my university room tour and i'll speak to you all later bye